Looking fine, looking fabulous. Okay, I'm just get a sip of coffee. To be honest, this is my first coffee after a week. Because uh, I noticed I've got lots of headaches and too much caffeine can be the can be the reason, one of the reasons actually why I've got migraines and headaches. So I've stopped drinking coffee for a week, which is so painful. And this is first coffee of the week. I mean after the week. Ugh. Oh my god, it tastes so good. Oat milk and salted caramel uh, syrup as well. Delicious. Mwah. Hi everyone, how you all doing? Hope you're having a fantastic day. My name is Art. Welcome back to my channel. I'm back again after a uh, break. Uh, a little break if you didn't notice that. Uh, there is a video uh, linked up over here uh, that I did a week ago explaining why I was off for, um, for a while. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so it's linked up over here somewhere over here so if you want to check it out why I was absent for a while go check it out my video and uh, <clears throat> and <coughs> um, I haven't been doing that for a while so I'm like whoa a little bit stressed out but I think I hope everything is going to be fine uh, I've got my equipment set up again as usual and I'm back on track uh, on track so in today's episode I will talk about my personal skincare routine. This skincare routine is going to be uh, for a combination of a skin because my skin is a combination of dry and oily skin. Depends on the weather actually and how I'm taking care of my skin because sometimes when I'm busy during the week uh, it's super difficult to do the proper routine in the morning and then in the afternoon when the day is over I'm just taking a shower, uh, getting something to eat and going to bed uh, just to like, you know, slay the other day but uh, yeah, if you got your own routine make sure it's gonna be consistent every morning, every night just to take care of your skin let me just get one more zip So, getting back to the truck, I have a combination of the skin. It's a little bit dry and a little bit of a um, oily skin. I always had an oily skin. When I was little, my skin was super oily. I had loads of spots. I was sweating a lot. Uh, loads of sebum was going uh, out on my skin, especially on my nose, on my forehead, a little bit on my cheekbones. So, this is the T-zone. This is called a T-zone over here. Um, so if someone is saying about like, oh, I've got oily T-zone, you know what it is now. But now when I'm getting older and I'm trying loads of different products, but to be honest, I'm trying to be stick, I'm trying to stick actually to one brand. Because when you're playing around with loads of different cosmetics, loads of different skincare products, your skin can react differently. Uh, your skin can react positive, that is absorbing all the ingredients that are in the actual product, or on the other hand it can be damaged a lot so if you see that you've got lots of spots after certain product after using certain product for uh, for a while this means that maybe some of the ingredients are wrong for your skin or not are bad for your skin or maybe you're using too many products at the same time so my advice is to stick to one brand and keep it going with um, applying it on your face or uh, make sure you are stick to one brand and you've got your morning and afternoon routine with the same uh, with the same products not changing them every week every month because this is bad for your skin if it comes to makeup artists and beauty advisors obviously this is our uh, this is our niche so this is something that we're doing uh, every every day we're trying lots of different products we're trying cosmetics we're trying makeup uh, products uh, foundations concealers uh, lipsticks eyeshadows all that stuff we're trying it all the time so this is normal that our skin is going to be harmed in some kind of a way uh, sooner or later. So that's why at the end of practicing and uh, using the products uh, to give you knowledge about the products, uh, it's always good to stick to your own favorite brand and uh, keep healing and uh, taking care of your skin with those actual products. And this is my personal opinion. Yeah. 
and it's sh sh sun is shining la 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 as you probably noticed I've changed the background as well so I don't have the uh, colorful curtains behind me I just got my lamps my lights actually on the sides to give a bit more uh, nice reflection and I think I will need to get some light over here as well so it's gonna look much much brighter but um, um, yeah leave me some comments underneath this video and uh, share your opinion what do you think about this background is it okay is it something cool is it more interesting than the previous one that I had or do you have any other ideas that I could have on the background so it's going to be much more interesting uh, there is a sign saying love uh, it could be much more visible but um, actually doesn't look good when I'm gonna put it down okay doesn't matter okay we're just getting out of the topic where am I uh, my daily routine so um, I found I actually found something I found a product that is super good for my skin so again combination of the skin oily and dry skin um, I've tried loads of different soaps, loads of different different cleansers, which I'm using at the end of the day. So when I'm taking a shower, when I'm taking a bath, when I'm like just like washing myself, I was looking for something that is going to be super good for my skin. It's not going to damage the skin. It's going to work like a um, like a peeling, like a peel off, some like a peel off, like a scrub, like a moisturizer, like a cleanser, and. I found it and I've been using it for a very long time now and I'm not changing it for anything else obviously if I'm testing other products obviously I'm testing them but I'm still being with the same brand so this is uh, a brand con called simple uh, I bet everyone in UK knows it because it's very popular I bet in Poland as well and this is a clear pore scrub smoother cleaner skin in just one use uh, with th thin zinc and with uh, with hazel daily skin detox so this is very delicate product Mm, which I can um, can use for my skin but I think everyone or like I mean whoever has a delicate sensitive skin could use um, this product as well uh, because this company called simple is created for um, for lots of different people with uh, loads of different skin types is it delicate is it more like harsh skin uh, is it oily does it have prawns does it have blemishes uh, this brand is doing amazing stuff for our skin and i've been using it every night before i go to sleep obviously when i'm taking a shower uh, on my damp skin i'm using this on my mm, on my uh, automatic brush mechanical brush uh, this is like a um brush uh, it's like a fake one it's not original one oreo um, cleanser brushes uh which is working on the uh, on the battery i mean it's like a charger so you need to charge it to work it and it has five different uh programs so when you press it in the middle on the smile it's starting to vibrate and you've got few options over here when you press the plus one two and i think it's just three one two three and you can take it for like a higher level so it's gonna uh, vibrate harder and what I'm doing I'm just applying the product on the actual brush turning it on and massaging all the product all over my face under my eyes getting the right direction so always from the center out so it's like um, smoothing the skin and uh, circulation of your silk 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 <laughs> circulation circulation of your blood is going in the right direction so underneath the eyes pull it up taking it down on your neck on your jaw everything is going from the center outside on your forehead as well and massaging you can do it from this side and this side as well it is a quite relaxing product and it's not expensive as like the for one which is like 50 quid or 60 or even more expensive I got this one in TK Maxx for only 9.99 then you can find these in different shapes and different colors as well and the price is going from um, $9.99 to $19.99 as well so this is quite affordable product the next thing that I'm doing and uh, this is what I'm doing in the morning and in the afternoon after that when I cleanse my skin I'm moisturizing my skin so this is one of the products that I've been giving by uh, Paulina from Random Lifestyle Vlog when she was um, reviewing one of the 
packages with the beauty skincare that she that she ordered and uh, I thought I will give it a try and this is one of my favorite ones that I've been using for a very long time I think about like two months now and I really love it this is Four Sigmatic Superfood Serum with Rage uh, and this is for like a um, glowy skin so the effect effects that you're gonna have after using this product is glowy fresh nice amazing looking skin and it's dietary supplement so um, it's organic it's gluten free paraben free not tested on animals the package is fully recycled which is super uh, super cool and super important it smells like fresh um, like fresh citrusy uh, juice the consistency is liquidy a bit like between water and jelly uh, but it's not super watery that is like leaking straight away from your face and it's not super jelly that is going to be sticky onto your skin it is absorbing by it is absorbed actually by the skin uh, super fast and the skin looks um, looks glowy looks healthy uh, and it's moisturized so when the I other thing that I'm using uh, mostly in the morning this is like my morning part of my morning routine is the uh, vitamin C from uh, revolution skincare obviously makeup revolution was one of my favorite brands um, let me take a zip of coffee <laughs> it was my one of my favorite brands uh, I mean it is it is okay. I, I love the brand. I like. I like the brand. Uh, I was trying to collaborate with them. I was trying to sign up to PR list as well because I've been buying lots of products from them and promoting them without any payment, without any support from the company. Uh, and I was doing it for a very long time. Uh, the only support that I've got on, let's say, Instagram was just like likes. Like I mean, likes. Uh, the story that I was doing on Instagram, they've been just like liking the stories and that's the only response that I got from the company. So, um, I decided not to stick just to one brand uh, from now on and just try lots of different brands and, you know, maybe one day it's going to be something amazing with the videos that I'm posting. Someone's going to like me and say like, we love your content, we want to work with you, you're amazing, let's put you on the PR list blah 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 but this company hasn't done anything so um what a shame so revolution skincare uh, this is 12.5 percent vitamin c so it's quite high concentrated vitamin C uh, so make sure that you're um, reading the labels the other product is I think 5% of the vitamin C uh, which is a little bit less intense uh, depends what you want to achieve with vitamin C because vitamin C is giving you like an extra kick um, during winter when we need loads of vitamins vitamin C vitamin D uh, to um, fix our skin uh, also in the summer after holidays or during holidays or after holidays using vitamin C to heal the skin to repair the skin after the sun damage uh, using it on damp skin I'm using it mostly under my eyes to brighten up the skin because vitamin C is helping to brighten up the skin to brighten up the blemishes to get rid of the blemishes so if you got any imperfections vitamin C is going to be the solution for that not only revolution skin is good with uh, this kind of a product but also the ordinary which is one of my uh, other favorite brands is doing as well uh, vitamin C which is highly concentrated I don't think you can have it in different range of percentage so you can have it in different range of intensity of, of strength uh, so obviously if you don't know which one to choose it's always good to ask the, um, the beauty advisor which is selling the actual uh, the ordinary product or obviously if you're doing it online ask the consultant which is online and you can chat with the person this is like this is a 12.5 percent uh, vitamin C serum which I'm using it mostly during the morning routine uh, applying it under my eyes and uh, if I got any blemishes, I'm just tapping a little bit. Obviously, remembering about uh, dumping my skin before applying that. One of the products that I've been using 
previously. I've seen it, someone posting it on TikTok and I thought like, wow, I'm gonna give it a go because this is very affordable brand, you can get it in Aldi and it's called La Cura. I think I've mentioned this before on one of my videos uh, on my YouTube channel and this one is Pineapple Face Serum and uh, there's not much said on the actual package. Mm, just that it's uh, Aldi stores uh, LTD and that's it. It's the, when you're gonna open it, you can use it for six months. How is it saying on the back of the packet on the bottom of the package? And it's I was quite skeptic about this product because I was like, okay, face serum. Uh, does, it does smell like pineapple when you're gonna open it, but later on it's like, yeah, it doesn't smell so good. Uh, and I was very skeptic by using that. But while I was, you know, trying to convince myself to use this serum, I was like, yeah, I really like it. It does give the moisture, uh, which is absorbed by the skin super fast, but. Um, but it doesn't give anything extra for like a longer term. For like a few minutes effect, that's alright, but maybe on the other skin types it's working better. Um, I was trying to use it until it's gonna finish, obviously, but uh, one day when I was doing my morning routine, I've noticed that the glass and pipe just popped out. So this tiny thing uh, just broke, you know, it's like a round thingy at the edge so you can just like suck it in from the actual product and now because it's broken it's not sucking, oh it is actually sucking but normally I'm taking the product and just smudging on my skin and I've smudged it on my, on my cheek and I was like wow that hurts and it really it really burns and I was like oh oh shit so I was bleeding so this is broken and I can't use it and I can see that the other piece of the glass is inside. So um, I'm a bit scared to use it now because I don't know if there's any other pieces of glass uh, inside. If there is, I can just injure myself. But um, because I wanted to do this video, I just left it for, for you guys to see it. Uh, but yeah, that's it. A product. Um, quite affordable, I don't remember the price, it was about like 8-7 quid or something like this. Um, it does give you moisture just for like a first effect, uh, but later on it doesn't do it doesn't do much. And it doesn't smell as I expected to smell, like pineapple. It does smell at the beginning, but later on it doesn't do anything. Once in a while I love to apply something glowy on my skin. This is a moisturizer, uh, this is a um, moisturizer with like an extra glow. So when you apply it on your skin, on your face, your face looks healthier, it looks uh, a bit brownier, the natural uh, skin tone, and it does give like an extra, extra glow with, because uh, it's cold, glam glow, so it does give you glow. This uh, amazing package uh, contains a, a Glam Glow Mega Illuminating Moisturizer, hydrating and yeah, hydrating and illuminating. So it does give you a lot of hydration, it illuminates amazingly and it smells delicious. I can't tell what smell, oh, I mean, okay, so the first impression that goes into my mind is orange and chocolate. And it looks like this, so it does look delicious, and it gives such a nice scent that you want to lick it. Uh, consistency is just like a cream, it looks beautiful, so when I apply it on my skin, it does give a bit of glow. It's um, It does give you like a fake tan effect, but it's not like a normal... Um, fake tan like you're using on the glove and you're just smudging it all over your body it doesn't give that effect but it does give a bit of warmth uh, a glow uh, it's not sticky uh, and the smell and the smell disappears after a few few seconds so um, if you're a person that doesn't like smelly cream smelly products I think it should work because it does smell at the beginning super intense it's very intense it's very delicious uh, but then when you continuing with your skincare or applying makeup because I think this could be a good base for the foundation um, it's just it's just vanishing so 
it's absolutely fine. At the end of the morning skincare routine, I like to set everything with a setting spray, but not always. Uh, this is something extra. So, um, Skin Proud, this is something that I've been using for a while, since uh, I think middle of the, yeah, last year. Uh, this refreshener, this skincare, um, this spray, uh, face spray, specially designed for morning routine and uh, night routine as well so you can spray it during the day in the morning before you're going out to work when you're finishing your night uh, nighttime routine as well so you can spray your uh, face it does give you hydration hydrate it is called refreshener hydrating face mist uh, broom hydrate visage uh, this is French or something it does smell like a rose water it's very delicate the atomizer is super amazing because it spreads the product um, easily and the dust, the, the, the dust, the diffuser, diffuser, the atomizer is spraying it a very nice way. What I don't like about the setting sprays, um, when I'm doing my dancing classes, when I'm sweating and my eyes are sweaty, the product which was uh, sprayed on my face is getting into my eyes or uh, when I'm taking a shower everything is wet, my face is wet and everything is dropping into my eyes so this is very um, uh, harmful. Uh, so this is the only thing that I don't like about the setting sprays or any kind of refreshers, any kind of sprays. Uh, but obviously you can live with this so this is just something, just my personal opinion. This is my personal skincare routine for a combination of dry and oily skin. So what am I showing now? It doesn't have to be good for oily skin. It doesn't have to be good for dry skin. This is for a combination. So if you're using any of those products, just make sure, just double check if this is going to be something good for your skin type because everyone has a different skin. So make sure you're reading the labels or asking questions. Ask questions ask questions, ask questions, have more information to be, to grow your knowledge and to be sure what you're actually using if this, if this is the right product for yourself. Now, um, if I had a very rough night or if I'm tired, uh, I'm trying to cover the dark circles under my eyes. So this is a MUA uh, Makeup Academy Pro Base Prime and Conceal Correcting Primer. It looks uh, like this. It's super affordable. This consistency is like a CC cream. It works like a CC cream as well. This one is in the shade uh, CC Peach. Consistency is a creamy consistency. Uh, it does give um, a bit of coverage. So with this kind of a product, like a uh, peachy shade or uh, depends on your skin type, um, it's going to cover uh, dark circles under your eyes. So whatever is purpley dark, um, with the peachy shade you will cover it. But to have like a proper effect, that's what I'm using as an extra. Obviously, if you're gonna blend blend uh, this CC cream, um, the correcting cream, correcting primer by its own, it should be alright. If you're gonna take it too much, you'll obviously end up with like an orange uh, circles under your eyes, which doesn't look okay. Uh, but if you will blend it nicely, just take a tiny bit of amount under your eyes. Uh, this should be fine. And this goes to uh, male makeup, female makeup. Uh, actually, it doesn't matter what gender you are. Just play with the makeup and see what's going to be good for you. Um, and then I'm topping it up with the um, Makeup uh, Revolution uh, Eye Bright Illuminating uh, Under Eye Concealer. This one is in shade Light. And this one is also with Vitamin C, as I mentioned before. It gives you vitamins and it brightens up the skin as well. Very nice packaging, rose gold. I like this um, this window, this tiny window over here, which is uh, very helpful to see if you're running out of the product. Some of the brands, like Avon, for example, used to have concealer like this in very similar packages, in a very similar package, but it didn't have the window without which I was uh, mentioning on one of my videos as well, which is going to be linked up somewhere over here. Uh, so you can take a look, and it did have this window, so it was very difficult to see um, if the actual product is finishing, if I need to buy another one, or, you know, it was quite like a big pain in the ass. Uh, it has a sponge at the top and it's very um, handy to use. Um, bah, 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 bah. It's very soft and gentle. Um, 
the product is very nice and creamy it doesn't leave much uh, it doesn't crease much under your eyes obviously depends uh, if you got big wrinkles big mimic lines um, or if you're using too much product obviously it can um, it can crack or go into your creases and it's not going to look good so make sure combining two of those products uh, or different ones but obviously you know color color correcting base and then putting it uh, on top uh, concealer uh, will be a good match to cover the dark silver circles the dark circles under your eyes just to brighten up your look so obviously what are we doing over here applying it under you under the eyes or there is another option that you can go in inside the corner of your eye then pulling it out at the edge of your eye to get like an effect of um, slimmer slimmer face opened eyes bright eyes as well but obviously everything is um, your personal choice the other thing that I'm doing is I'm taking care of my eyebrows obviously I used loads of um, eyelash glues before and I was trying to find something that is going to be good something to be something that is going to be easy to use and uh, something that is not going to be cracky clumpy on, on my eyebrows and I've been using lots of different products when something like this came on the market brands were like just like flushing us with those eyebrows glues eyebrows soaps uh, which are okay uh, but they're not as good as I was expecting and a uh, few months ago uh, got to be Schwarzkopf brand uh, created an eyebrow um, eyebrow glue and this eyebrow glue you can use for baby hair as well or just to customize your hair and put it in the nice place but obviously I'm using it for my eyebrows and it looks like this I've seen it a few months ago on someone's TikTok someone's social media and I was like okay I'm gonna buy it and then whenever I was in boots or super drug I always forget to get it but there was a moment when I was like I need something for my eyebrows for because the product that I've been using is completely mm -mm -mm, eh, 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 no 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 so I found this and this is super super cool obviously you can use a um, you can go to specialist to eyebrow technician that is going to laminate your eyebrows and they're gonna stay in your uh, in the shape that you want for four to six uh, six weeks but if you don't want to go to eyebrow specialist if you don't want to laminate your eyebrows this is the solution for your eyebrows super cool eyebrow gel that you can use for um, for your baby hair and to style your hair as well brush is amazing there is loads of products so always what I'm using it I'm trying to get rid of the excess of the product because this is too much for my eyebrows and I don't use, I don't need so much um, the brush is having is the brush has two shapes so it's straight on the bottom and it's like round on the top so it means that you can use this easily to apply a lot of the product and to brush your uh, eyebrows or to brush and style your uh, your hair, your baby hair, anything that you've got over here, and you want to style it, you can use it. Uh, this glue is not as thick as um, Sample Beauty. Do you remember Sample, Sample Beauty? It had like a um, white consistency glue. It was actually eyebrow glue uh, that was clumpy at the end of the day and when I was taking a shower those those clumpiness on my eyebrows and it looked horrible and it was so difficult to get rid of it where this product is super easy to get rid of just a soap or any cleanser you're washing it off from your eyebrows and it's done and it's holding your eyebrows in the position for the whole day it does feel something you can you can definitely feel something on your eyebrows but it's not irritating it doesn't look silly mm, and it's very convenient and it's very very useful and there's lots of product in it it's 16 milliliters it lasts for 12 months when you're gonna open it but obviously if you're taking care of the products you can use them for a little bit longer it costs about like seven pounds something it is affordable it is affordable yeah, it is. Is it? Is it? Is it? I think it is. Yeah, I think it is affordable because it's going to last for, for ages, for for more than a year, I think. Uh, I'm using it for a very long time and there is, it's still heavy so I can feel there's loads of product inside.
starting off, I need to peel off my skin once once a week. Um, especially when I'm playing with makeup, with concealers, foundations, um, eye products, uh, lip products, anything that combines makeup, skincare, all of that, I'm using it daily to test it, to try it, uh, obviously my personal skincare, but once a week I have to um, clean it properly. So that's why once a month um, I'm going to one of my uh, best um, beauty specialists and she's taking care of my skin, uh, cleaning it with loads of different products, those those make uh, those uh, uh, these equipments, those those, those products, everything that she's using for my skin to clean it to make it look nice. And you know, I'm 35 and my skin looks amazing. But if I don't have time to visit her, uh, but I should do it once a month, uh, and I want to do it um, at my home by myself, I'm using my favorite brand, The Ordinary. And I bet you know this product. This is. Uh, AKH 30% BHH 2% peeling solution uh, and this is a 10 minutes exfoliating facial peeling solution it's quite um quite intense and it's very high percentage of the acid that is inside it's a cranberry acid with loads of different ingredients which you can read it on the back or on the website. It's a sticky uh, jelly consistency where you're using it once a week um, your skin is going to look completely different. I mean it does peel off the skin, it does remove the dead skins, dead parts of your skin on your face uh, super easily. It does make it smooth and nice and delicate. Uh, when I got it first, I was using it with my fingers. And then I noticed that I can't unblock my phone. So I realized that it is so intense, the acid is so intense, it's so strong, that it's actually burning um, the popular lines on my, on my fingers. And I couldn't unblock my phone with my fingers. So I was just using my face recognition, which was sometimes <laughs> dodgy and I, I couldn't just unblock my phone. So that's why I decided to uh, use this peeling solution uh, and gloves. And when I was um, looking online how people are uh, using this peel-off solution, they using it, they are using it with the gloves just to be safe, uh, to be careful with the popular lines and not to burn them too much. So if you're using this product, uh, my advice is to um, try it maybe on at the edge of your um, of your jaw behind your ear to see if you're not gonna have any irritations because this is very uh, intense product so you need to be careful how you're using it and uh, the recommendation of the company and uh, beauty and skincare um, specialists is to use it once a week if you're gonna use it more you can damage your skin your skin can be even more irritated it can be uh, harmed you can harm your skin and uh, it's in general, it's not going to be good for your skin in general, right? The advice of the beauty specialist, skincare specialist, is to use products like this for only um, one time a week. And obviously, if you will ask the specialists which are selling those products, they're going to say the same thing. Uh, so make sure you're reading the labels and you're asking questions a lot. So if you got any questions to me as well, please, 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 please. Uh, leave the comments underneath below this uh, this video. And how am I taking care of my lips? So I'm just using a moisturizer. It can be Pow Pow Lip Balm, which is one of my favorites. But it's so hard to get the one which is not going to be um, putting much uh, like, like glow. It's not going to be making them look pink or red. Because uh, sometimes I'm just like, oh, Pow Pow, I'm getting it. And then putting it on my lips and it's like, wow, this is so glowy. So... <laughs> So sparkly, I don't like it. Um, so I'm trying to get something which is going to be like the basic one, Pow Pow uh, moisturizer, which is one of my favorite ones. And here, uh, this one, I th oh, my mom got me. If you say Rocher, if say Rocher, lip balm. This is a lip balm, very basic uh, lip balm that I'm using it every day, there's a lot of product, so uh, I'm never leaving my house without moisturizing my lips, uh, especially during winter and uh, summer. To be honest, it's like mostly every day, I've got loads of lip balms, 
every boom bag, every bag, every 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 pocket in my in my jacket is filled with lip balms because I like to take care of my lips, uh, especially like as I mentioned during winter when the uh, wind is cold and it's drying the skin and you've got cracks on your lips and then you're applying the lipstick and you're saying like wow this lipstick is shit, it's not shit, it's just your lips are very dry. In the summer it can be the same thing, if you're dehydrated your lips are going to be dry, so it's good to drink lots of water but always hydrate your lips, never leave house without any of the lip balms. Uh, and there's loads of things that you can buy in the actual shop. And that how and that's how my skincare routine looks like for a combination of dry and oily skin. If you like this video, please leave me comments with any questions that you've got about the products that I have used in this video because those are my daily skincare products. And if you have any other opinion about the products that I've been using, uh, please give me a shout, leave some comments underneath this video and I will really appreciate that so we will have something to talk about. And and uh, I'm super happy that I'm actually back on my YouTube channel because this is bringing me joy. This is bring this brings me happiness, and I love creating content like that. So if you like it and if you appreciate that, I will appreciate that if you will leave a like underneath this video. And this is going to be everything in today's video. I hope you liked it as I liked filming it for you guys. And uh, yeah, that's going to be everything in today's episode. Thank you so much for watching, uh, have a fabulous weekend and I'm so excited, I'm like literally so excited because you're excited to see me in the next episode, bye, see you later. <laughs> Coffee. Mm -hmm. Deliciosa. <laughs>